Look at all you high rollers being able to afford two item minimums and shit. I wish I could be you. I'm doing so great in life. I had to eat at Burger King before I came here. I was, man, fast food places are getting so stingy with their dipping sauces. It's so ridiculous. They always give you like some lame excuse for why they can't give you more, you know? They're always like, we're in a drought, so no, you can't, you know? I was like in the drive-thru because I'm paying with change and I don't want anyone else to see besides me and the cashier. It's a private transaction. Um, <laughs> And uh, she tried to tell me she can only give me two barbecue sauces with my order. And I was like, well, um, I've got 10 chicken nuggets, so I need eight more. Can you do that? And I'm not even kidding you. She got all official on me, busted out some official language. She was like, sorry, sir, that's against our sauce policy. And I was like, well, I'd like to speak to your dipping sauce loss prevention officer. Oh, he's not real. He doesn't exist. Okay, so give me some more goddamn barbecue sauce then. How about it? Okay? Policy's too official of a word for something that comes in a fucking plastic container with a peel-off lid. That's so ridiculous. And this policy's not implemented across the board, okay? Because, like, when was the last time you had to ask for ketchup, okay? Never. You know, like, you get up, and then they're like, hey, any ketchup? And then before you can answer, they're like, hope the whole bin's okay! <laughs> Have a nice day. Then you come back next time and they ask, hey, you any ketchup? You're like, no, actually, do you want some back? Because you gave me way too much last time and it's just sitting in a drawer in my house. Take it back. You know, like, if it's a policy, you know, that's there should be, like, some official documentation, maybe, like a condiment constitution outlining all of the rights for your sauces. You know, like, Article 1, tomato-based sauces. Article 2, mustard-based sauces. Article 3, vinegar-based sauces. Article 4, dairy-based sauces. Article 5, repeal of Articles 1 through 4, because if people are going to purchase heart disease from you, they deserve to garnish it to their liking and have it their way. <laughs> Thank you. I stand up for what I believe in. I'm also white, so I have nothing else to complain about. <laughs> Unarmed black men get shot in the streets, and I'm sitting here going, More ranch! More ranch! <laughs> she just asked if I'm white. Like, that's... <laughs> no, it's just the light, man. <laughs> I'm actually vegan. You can eat chicken nuggets if you're vegan. They're not real meat if they're from Burger King. Actually, I'm not a vegan anymore. I got tired of people not liking me, so I stopped starving myself. I was in, okay, I was vegan for health reasons, not political ones, you know. I did it to get fit, not punched in the face by people. Um, and, you know, actually my least favorite part was just, like, going out to eat because I didn't like going to vegan restaurants because I didn't like the sense of camaraderie I got. It was too much of a, like, hey, you're an asshole just like us now kind of vibe, you know? <laughs> They'd always say something like, just so you know, your decision to go vegan is going to benefit so much more than just you. It's going to benefit the planet and animals. And I feel like I always had to clarify, like, whoa, 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 whoa. I totally still use shampoo that's tested on animals, okay? I'm not one of you guys, all right? How do you know they don't like it? You don't, okay? For all you know, they're sitting there in their cage going like, ooh, it's Silky Smooth Shampoo Saturday. <laughs> I hope they use Paul Mitchell this time. <laughs> You know, like, I was, I was more of, like, I wasn't a hardcore vegan. I was more like a Judas Iscariot vegan. Like, I would sell somebody out right away. So it was just like, hey, where's some vegans so we can beat them up? I was like, there's a vegan restaurant right over there. You know? The biggest thing that, like, that vegans always say, like, how gross meat is, and any vegan that tells you that is so full of shit, okay? The number one piece of evidence is all the versions of fake meat that they have. <laughs> meant to look and taste like the real thing, you know? That's like, that's like someone claiming they don't like to eat ass and then like secretly they've got a taxidermy ass on their wall that they lick when nobody's looking, okay? You know, like, just eat the real thing! My name's Sogilis, thank you guys, have a good night.